Hello, we're going to PC Jack. In today's video, I want to take the time to establish my brand new CPU cooler testing methodology for 2022. While my past CPU cooler reviews have somewhat reasonably established the performance of the coolers themselves, there hasn't been quite a clear and concise way for me to compare CPU coolers against each other. That was until now, as I now have a dedicated test system along with a clear set of guidelines for all of my CPU cooler testing. This video itself will be in the description of any CPU cooler reviews I do moving forward which should allow viewers to have a clear idea of exactly what my methodology is. So starting off, quite a simple one, but in order to better compare CPU coolers against each other, you should obviously use the same CPU. So for the dedicated CPU cooler testing, I'll be using the Core i5-12600K. Now a 12600K isn't the hottest running CPU, but it is really overclockable, which should allow me to greatly amend and change the power draw that the CPU provides which is extremely useful when trying to determine how much power load that a CPU cooler can actually dissipate. So being able to fine tune the 12600K for very specific workloads like gaming or multi-threaded applications or anything like that should allow us to get a much better idea of exactly how these CPU coolers perform under varying loads, including low all the way up to high power states. Additionally, this creates a highly replicable thermal load for me to compare all coolers on the channel moving forward. Secondly, when it comes to my new testing methodology, while in the past I've been able to compare coolers with different specs fairly closely by using 50% or even 100% fan speed, this doesn't exactly give a clear picture of the actual performance of the CPU cooler itself. And it's also not an accurate comparison that I want to be making in my videos moving forward. What creates a much better point of comparison though is noise normalized testing. This is much more suitable for CPU cooler testing, so I'm very much looking forward to introducing this into my testing methodology, and it should really help me with comparing coolers and creating concise data to compare against each other. In this instance, setting a noise floor is going to be absolutely crucial, but also establishing the ambient temperature in the room is also going to be very important to my testing. Sadly, it's a bit more difficult for me to replicate this due to the limiting nature of my office, but I will be trying to ensure that the ambient temperatures are as close as possible between testing. Additionally, it should go without saying that you should be using the same firmware pace across all testing, so I've decided to go with Arctic MX4. I've used it for quite some time, and I'm quite happy with the application I get out of it most of the time, so I'll be using that across all of the coolers. Realistically, there's a little variation between firmware paste, but it's only by the odd degree or two, but I would like to try and remove that if possible. Lastly, for all my firmware testing, I will be setting a failure threshold of 90 degrees C, meaning if a CPU cooler doesn't manage to keep a CPU under that temperature then it will actually fail the test. Now it's not necessarily TJ Maxx for a lot of these CPUs but I feel if you're within that reach of TJ Maxx then it's a bit too much to be put in your CPU under that kind of load for a sustained period of time and it should give you a clear idea of exactly how far the cooler can actually go. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this a quick video just to run over my actual testing methodology and make sure that I was fully transparent in the way that I'm testing my coolers on the channel and ensure that you guys fully understand what goes into my testing. I'm really excited to get back into CPU cooler testing and with this testing methodology, I should be able to produce the most clear and concise data that I've had on the channel since I started. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. If you'd like more PC Jack content though, then you can check out my Twitch where I live stream every Monday and Thursday. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at PCJack94. If you'd like to talk more with myself and other like-minded hardware enthusiasts, then make sure to check out the PC Jack Discord. If you'd like to support the channel even further though, then make sure to check out the PC Jack Patreon where you can claim exclusive benefits while helping to fund everything I do on the channel for you guys. You can find links to all those in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.